Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Roseville police say a nurse practitioner named Anthony D'Souza is accused of committing sexual battery of a female patient during an exam on April 25th. They're asking anyone else who may have been victimized to call them. Funeral services today for 15-year-old Alicia Reynaga. She's the teen killed in a random attack on the Stag High School campus. Many in attendance wore powder blue shirts with Alicia's nickname, Lala, and her number seven from her softball uniform. Firefighters in New Mexico taking a stand against the largest wildfire burning in the U.S. They're trying to keep it from getting any closer to the town of Las Vegas. But just in case, more than 15,000 homes have been evacuated. Heavy fighting continued at a steel mill in Mariupol the last stronghold of Ukrainian resistance in the ruined port city. It comes as Russia increases missile attacks across the country. The European Union moved to further punish Moscow for the war by proposing a ban on all imports. The U.S. is closing in on 1 million COVID-19 deaths since the start of the pandemic. The latest numbers also show more than 81 million cases in that time. 50 McClatchy High School students have tested positive for COVID-19 since April 21st. Sacramento Unified says nearly half of them attended junior prom. Students who attended had to provide proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test, but masking was not required. The chaotic scene at the Hollywood Bowl as someone charged and tackled Dave Chappelle on stage. The suspect, identified as Isaiah Lee, was carrying a knife. He's being held on suspicion of assault with a deadly weapon, and Chappelle was unhurt. TurboTax has agreed to pay $141 million to customers misled by promises of free tax filing services. If you used the free edition between 2016 and 2018 but still had to pay to file, you qualify. We have more information on the settlement on our website, abc10.com. The seasonal certified farmer's market returned to Capitol Mall today. Every Wednesday through September 28th, more than 25 vendors will set up offering locally sourced fruits, vegetables, baked goods, as well as al fresco lunch options. One of the nation's largest mural festivals is coming back soon. Sacramento's Wide Open Wall starts on May 12th. Today, local leaders gathered to discuss mural sites and artists gave live demonstrations. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.